Horse and Buggy Produce. Hey everybody, Brett, Horse and Buggy Produce. Uh, this series is called Where Does Your Food Come From? Today I'm in the middle of cantaloupe field with uh, Wayne Wanger, Mennonite farmer I've known for quite some time. And uh, we'll learn all about cantaloupe. Uh, and uh, one thing, Wayne prefers not to be videotaped, so I will, I will show his hands most of the time. Uh, and we'll go from there. So if, while I wait any longer, let's uh, get back to Wayne and see what he has to say about cantaloupe. Wayne, how you doing today? Very good. How are you? Good, good, good. Um, so, how long you been growing cantaloupe? Ah, uh, about five years. Five years, uh -huh. and uh, and and how many acres of cantaloupe do you have? We have uh, seven acres this year. Seven acres of cantaloupe, and 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 have you increased every year? Uh, I have uh, held the same until this year, and we've increased this year. Okay, okay, and um, uh, we were talking about uh, the growing season of a cantaloupe. You start these off. Uh, somebody grows the little plants for you, right? That's right. We buy the seeds in the winter, and uh, then uh, we uh, we take them to the greenhouse, and she starts the plants. And, uh, and early on, it takes maybe five weeks in the greenhouse, and uh, and then we get the little transplants, and we have a water wheel transplanter, which is a machine you set on. Uh, it has a, a, a wheel in the center that runs and punches holes in the plastic. Uh, and there's a place for two, two folks to sit on the back and uh, put the transplants in the hole. And then there's like a fertilizer and water tank on it that uh, it puts water and fertilizer in the hole when it punches the hole. So all we have to do is stick the plant in the hole and, and pinch a little dirt around it. And, so that it, there's no air around the roots. But now wait a second, wait a second. So I got to. We got at some point we got to come back and videotape that. That takes place in what April? That that does. It's well. It it takes place. Uh, it takes place uh, the first of May until we we planted our last planting last week. We plant 2,000, 2000 plants a week. Wow, I'm sorry, I missed that. The ne next year, for sure, I want to get that on, on, on tape. I want to see you guys playing. Cause, so you've got two of your kids usually riding on the back of that uh, thing? Either that or they put me back there. So. <laughs> and and how fast is the tractor going? Uh, we're not moving, but about a half a mile an hour. Okay, pretty slow. Yeah, pretty, real slow. Real slow. The, <laughs> real slow. The, biggest, so the biggest problem is not fall asleep when you're driving. <laughs> <laughs> and then you get crooked rows, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, let's look at your at, at some of these uh, cantaloupes because I'm sure a lot of our a lot of our folks have never seen an immature cantaloupe. What do we got here? Well, here we have uh, here we have a, a patch of cantaloupe that's not not quite ready to harvest yet. There, it's kind of green. There, it's kind of green. Here we got some real little. <laughs> here's what they look like when they're real little. Yeah. And then they get and then they start roughing up like this. Okay. And uh, then they'll get they'll get rough all over, and suddenly one day you'll look out here and this thing will be real real yellow, and right here around the stem, yeah, it'll let loose. Okay. And when they let loose, it's called slip. I see. Uh, some cantaloupes they want you to harvest at half slip, which would mean it's it's cracked halfway around, or full slip would mean it let let loose totally. Almost picks itself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's easy to tell. Uh, it's easy to tell when a cantaloupe's right now. A watermelon. I still don't know how to tell when a watermelon's right. Oh, that's easy. I know how to tell a watermelon's right. Oh, you do? Oh, yeah. You cut it up and eat yeah. it. It tastes good. It's ripe. Yeah. I, yeah it's <laughs> I tell everybody that all the time. Yeah, it's easy. Yeah. Piece of cake. <laughs> now, you... <laughs> we need watermelons with windows, you know. Yeah. <laughs> well, you, you need. So, you, again, okay, I lost my train of thought. So, we're back with cantaloupe. So, you've got seven acres of cantaloupe here. And how many different varieties of cantaloupe Grand do you grow? Grand Slam. Yeah. Uh, Ariel. Yeah, and we grow one called uh, Money Lope. Money Lope. Yeah, it's, <laughs> I don't, it doesn't, it's not that it makes a lot of money, but it's, it's a great big cantaloupe. Oh, that's cool. I like yeah. that. People, I like that. People really like a great big cantaloupe. They like a cantaloupe, big cantaloupe. Yeah. Well, so so that uh, we got the planting down, we got the harvesting, and it's about 60 days from when you put it in the ground to when you harvest. Yes. Yeah, but let's talk about a little bit of harvesting. Uh, oh, this machine over here, this contraption, is how you point to this thing and show us how this thing works. How long is this thing? Uh, this thing's 28 feet long. 28 feet long, okay. It has these little pipes riveted to the belt. Right. To keep the cantaloupes from rolling. Okay. And the belt runs, the belt, uh, this this little foot sets on your harvest trailer. Okay. And then the other end here chains fast to the uh, other side of the harvest trailer. Okay. Clamp it fast. All right. 
And then the cantaloupes roll into this location. Yeah. And they come all the way from way down there. Yeah, they come all the way from... And as luck would have it, this thing covers half of your patch. Yeah. You've got a little road going down both sides. Both sides. So you can do the whole patch if you do around you the whole thing. You go down and back and you finish... Talk you a little bit about uh, a spraying. Do you have to do a lot of spraying for cantaloupe? Well, if uh, if the weather is really nice and it's and it's dry, the, the, the spray needs are a lot less. If you get into a real wet, cool spell, uh, you may have to do more spraying for fungicides, uh, and we just try to keep an eye on them for bugs. Uh, of course, uh, of course, we do as little amount of spray as possible, but uh, whether you you know we don't whether you like it or not, uh, there's there's times that it's necessary. To spray. Right. If it rains a lot, you're not going to get a good cantaloupe. No, period. No matter and, what you do. And uh, yeah, we do uh, we do as uh, little as possible because. Anything else would be a waste of money. Waste of money, and of course you're out there and spraying it, and you don't want to be in that thing any more than you have to. No, and when we do when we do spray, we try to follow the labels. Uh, we do follow the labels for for safety as far as how long after you spray can you harvest and that type of thing. Right, 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 right. And uh, but you're saying that the perfect weather for a cantaloupe is really hot dry weather yeah real real hot dry weather maybe not a hundred like it was last week but right you know warm nice warm weather right right now uh going back to the, here's your trailer point to the, the you got this bin over here what this is the the trailer upon which that conveyor belt thing run right that's right and then we have the we have the uh you have to talk a little louder Wayne. we have the bins yeah stacked on the trailer okay down through and we have a walkway through the middle of them okay and then when they come in on the belt, we grade and put them in these boxes, and then we set them, we set them in a building and put fans behind them to keep them fresh. To okay. Keep, to keep fresh air going. And how many bins of this sort can you fit on your trailer? Uh, we can fit uh, 16 bins. 16 bins and about how many cantaloupe per bin? Uh, well, probably an average of 130 or 40. Wow, so we're talking about uh, 1,600 and over 2,000 cantaloupe. That's right. Wow. How many cantaloupe will you harvest in a season, do you think? Oh, uh, we'll probably harvest, uh, we, we have 18,000 plants in the field, and uh, a safe average would be two per, two per plant, so a safe, a safe, a safe figure would be 36,000. 36,000 cantaloupe. Uh, wow. And they can't, it can do better than that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, uh, tell me, is it in, in, before we wrap up, or as we wrap up here, is there anything in particular you want to talk about to uh, our customers about farming and, and cantaloupe and all that kind of stuff? Well, the only thing that I would say is we try to do our best, but uh, we're at the mercy of the weather, so uh, occasionally you can get not the best cantaloupes, but we try to do all we can. And I would I would encourage you guys to uh, buy local and help the local economy. Yeah, we've uh, um, this has been a good a good thing for you, right? With local buyers yeah. growing cantaloupe. Yes, it has. And, yeah. and I hear it all the time that that the local produce is so much better than the shipped in produce. Oh, it is. No doubt about it. Yeah. 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 It, the quality is is infinitely better. No doubt about it. That's that's what we hear all the time. Well. Anyhow, I just want to thank you on behalf of all of our customers for, for doing what you do. Well, you're welcome, and I appreciate your purchases that, uh, to help us out. We're trying to keep both, both of us in business, right? Yeah, that's, that's right. <laughs> all right. Well, anyhow, thanks again, Wayne. And uh, I'll be uh, – let's see if I can get this camera around here and not, not twist around too much. But anyhow, again, this is uh, Brett, uh, Horse and Buggy Produce. Uh, we bring the farm in a box to you. Again, this has been uh, Where's Your Food? come from cantaloupes with Wayne Wanger and uh, we'll see you next time when we do another chapter of, of this thing and teach about where your food comes from. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it.